Sports. It's a Monday afternoon broadcast of the NBA. Go watch the Toronto Raptors in this one as they go up against the Chicago Bulls. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analyst, Greg Anthony, and Hall of Famer, Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Alton. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Now, you may ask why Scotty Barnes is so competitive. He says it started while I was young. I had two brothers, and we always wanted to be better than each other. We just competed. As a kid, I just wanted to beat other people, no matter what it was. Kevin, whether it was foot races or basketball, he's still getting after it. Back to you. He has. Not much has changed, has it, DA? Thank you. And so often we have these epic guard matchups, and tonight it's all about the front courts and not the back court. But nonetheless, it should be fun. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin. These front courts are big. They're dynamic. They're physical. A number of these guys can shoot it from great range. This should be one heck of a show. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. We've got Alex Caruso. DeRozan out there with Vucevic. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Beverly in at the point guard position. And for Toronto, the forwards are Barnes and Siakam. And Van Vliet out there with Ananobi. And it's Pirtle in at the center position. Now here's Barnes. DeRozan with the rebound. Pass to Beverly. Kicks it to Vucevic. On the wing, Levine. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. And Pirtle sends it back. And they get it back. Just three to shoot. Here's Beverly. That one off the back iron and out. Here's Toronto now. And here is Van Vliet. The three. Drills it from outside. Van Vliet's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Raptors. Levine feeling it out a bit. Now the pass to Caruso. And here's Vucevic. Vucevic a screen on Van Vliet. Beverly the pass to Vucevic. Over Pirtle. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. It's stolen. Beverly, the pass to DeRozan. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wow, that's really good work inside from DeMar DeRozan. You know, he knows how to get position where a defender is almost forced to foul him. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the game. That's good from DeRozan. You know, the determination that DeMar DeRozan plays with, it's sort of this steely, I'm going to get where I want to go, and don't sleep on his athleticism. DeMar DeRozan hits them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. On the wing, Barnes. Rebound by the Bulls. Greg, when you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. They swarm opposing stars and tend to make it very difficult in those passing lanes. So a great profile for a modern NBA defense. They're yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They, right now, are searching for a bucket. Bertle sets the pick for Barnes. Van Vliet wide open. And again, no good by Toronto. Boy, just one for four. A little brisky right now. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. They set the pick. 18 feet out. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. DeRozan against Siakam. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Van Vliet outside. 
Just five to shoot. Launches a three. Not going to go that time. And Chicago will go the other way with it. Last time they came together was in Toronto, where they fell to the Raptors. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. They were forced into tons of sloppy play, and I think they'll be looking to be more composed tonight. And it's Beverly missing. Yeah, awkward shot there. I mean, creative on the leaner, but the D just made it too difficult for him to convert. Pass to Barnes. Shoots over Caruso. And again, no good by Toronto. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Passes it to Vucevic. Over Siaka. And Vucevic with the basket on the assist by Levine. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Siakam on the ball. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Outside DeRozan. Pass to Levine. Now here's Caruso. The pass to Vucevic. Over Pirtle. Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got his second basket of the night. Well, anytime someone can knock down mid-range Jays, it opens up the floor. Nikola Vucevic doing just that. Now here's Barnes. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. On an OB. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Vucevic. And coming down the stretch here, Greg, a lot left to decide, especially for teams on the playoff bubble. And Kevin, the play-in tournaments add another level of complexity. I'll say this, the league now has more teams fighting all the way to the end. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Boy, the athleticism of OG Ananobi can be eye-popping sometimes, guys. And what's happening now is he's developing on the offensive end. This guy's upside is absolutely tremendous. Both free throws good from Ananobi. Chicago leading. Caruso kicks to Beverly. A 17-footer. Another one falls for Chicago. Well, DeMar DeRozan's mid-range game is as good as it gets in the NBA, and the textbook pretty jumper go to work DeMar. Now, here's Siakam. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. Hurdle shot is off. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Levine, a screen on Van Vliet. Beverly for three. The shot that time, not on target. Great D that time from Van Vliet. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Boy, at this size, Fred Van Vliet has to be so crafty on the interior. Defense has nothing for him there. Rosen dishes to Beverly. Vucevic setting the pick for Beverly. Driving the lane. DeRozan for three. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Up until this point, DeMar DeRozan has been very opportunistic, shall we say, from three. But now he understands it's got to be a greater part of his arsenal. Now here's Barnes. His last outing, he had eight points. Hurdle with a screen on Levine. Here's Barnes. Rebound collected by Levine. Not a single shot has gone down this period. It is the very definition of ice cold. Takes the 13-footer. DeRozan's shot is off. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Pass to Siakam. And a lot of 
contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And looking back on that Toronto run, Pascal Siakam Doris was a big piece to that puzzle. There's no question about it. They allowed that young man to flourish in transition. He was a tremendous defender for the group. He was a big time part of that title. And he knocks down the first one. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Trent's checked in for Scotty Barnes. Siakam hits them both. And for Siakam, great. He almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from that position. Solid player who any team would love to have. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for the Toronto Raptors. Trailing by two. Van Vliet outside. Offensive rebound, Pirtle. It's good. This game is all even. This team loves it when Pirtle can make an impact on the offensive glass. There's a lot of ways he can get his points, but this is an easy one. Now, here's Beverly. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the Bulls with another miss. Toronto's gone a meager 106 from three point land since we got started. And passes it to Pirtle. Here's Trent. Pirtle with a screen on Caruso. Trent finds Pirtle. That gives them the lead. Pirtle's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, getting his points the hard way. Jakob has to absorb contact and able to use his strength there. Levine, a screen on Siakam. Puts it up from 17, and he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. DeRozan's got the game tied up here for Chicago. Trent passes to Siakam. Trent against Corso. Spins. Here's Pirtle. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Pirtle's got six points. Here's Caruso. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. He kicks to Beverly. Beverly sets the screen for DeRozan. Stolen by Van Vliet. to want an open. Back to Van Vliet. Down to five on the shot clock. The nine-foot shot. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. A moment now to see the numbers for Pascal Siakam. Getting around 24 points per, eight rebounds, and six assists. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's He's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. Beverly for three. Rebound by the Raptors. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Siakam inside. DeRozan defending. Siakam misses. And the pass to Vucevic. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Jakob Pertl. You've got to be careful how you guard Nikola Vucevic. This guy is so good at forcing the defense to hit him on the way to the cup. At the line for two. First one drops. We know this about Nikola Vucevic. He's a high percentage finisher. To me, the next steps, right? Improve your defense, be more consistent with range. And if he does that, he's golden. Bulls making a switch here. Dosumu's checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And you look at Jakob Pertl. 
great touch and presence inside the paint. Can get you with a move or just power his way to the hoop. Now here's Van Vliet. Five points in the game. Here's Siakam. And again, no good by Toronto. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. The Rosen's shot is off. And Greg Pirtle has so many options to score inside. And, and that's why he's such an efficient scorer, Kevin. Very composed at the rim. Doesn't need a lot of time to get his shot off inside. Now, here's Siakam. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. DeRozan's got his fourth rebound in this one. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Here's Van Vliet following the score by DeMar DeRozan. Raptors moving the ball around. Off target with his three. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three-pointers, but not much to show for. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free-throw line. That is the size and power coming into play right there. Vucevic excels at using his physical advantages to capitalize. This will be his third free-throw shot of the game. And the Raptors making a change here. Achua's checked in. Thirty-four seconds left here in the opening quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. To the paint. Here's Siakam. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Caruso. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's DeRozan. It's not going to go for him. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for Chicago. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. From what we've seen so far from the Bulls, what's your take? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. The Bulls leading by four. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. The forwards are Barnes and Siakam. And it's Achua in at the five, patrolling the pace. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Now, Siakam. After Zach Levine missed from long range, Siakam finds Van Vliet. Here he goes. Beyond the arc. No good that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Caruso, a screen on Siakam. DeRozan passes to Caruso. And it's off from three-point range. Raptors trail by four. Pass to Van Vliet. To the inside. Whoops, they pick off the pass. On the wing, Levine. Out to DeRozan. Fader on the way. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Well, DeMar DeRozan, an all-star level player. This guy consistently delivers for his team. Barnes passes to Trent. 
and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. For the son of an NBA vet, Gary Trent Jr.'s game is very different than his dad. Well, obviously, Gary Sr. had more size and therefore was a post player in a different generation. The younger Mr. Trent, an excellent shooter from deep. Pretty much the opposite oh, style of play. Break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And home court advantage can give teams a huge lift. Greg, how different is it playing in front of the hometown fans? Uh, it's huge. I mean, they give you energy. You, you don't want to let them down. So you tend to dig a little deeper when you're playing at home. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. Trent hits them both. What you love about Gary Trent Jr., guys, is here, here's a guy who not only excels from the three-point line, yes, he's a consistent guy stretching the floor, but his fearlessness, his willing to take big shots in tight spots, that is something to behold. Dothurmu's shot is off. Raptors trail by four. Siakam outside. Al Van Vliet. He's got five, passes it to a chewer. Well, good on the three. Over to the wing for the three. And it's Toronto with the rebound. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Well, but they came into that game looking to be physical, looking to control the boards, and they succeeded. That control of the boards, I felt, fed their offense. There were a ton of second chances, a lot of confidence their bigs could dominate the glass. Now, here's Caruso. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Vucevic is screen on bars. On the wing, DeRozan, defended by Trent. Clock is at three. The Bulls need to get a shot off. And again, Chicago, no good. Toronto's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Siakam finds Barnes. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. And check it out, some numbers for Pascal Siakam. And it's DeRozan with the ball for Chicago. Only given up two points this quarter. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. A busy few years for Nick Nurse in 2019. He helped lead the Raptors to the title. And he was the 2020 Coach of the Year. He says, it means a lot to me that this city and this country loves this team so much. We can go out there and give them something to be proud of. Of course, Kevin, he's been a key part of that success. Back to you. Maybe the single most important part of their success, D.A. Thank you so much. Back to Caruso. And again, no good by Chicago. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. They set the screen. Siaka misses. The Bulls leading by four. DeRozan kicks to Caruso. Back to DeRozan. Pass to Dosunga. And here's DeRozan. Six to shoot. They need this one. And he drops that one in. DeRozan's got the lead up to six now for Chicago. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. And bleed on the wing. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Barnes against Williams. Baseline jumper. No good off the back of the rim. The Raptors have gone an abysmal 0 of 6 from the field since the second quarter began. Barnes sets a screen for Trent. Foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
It's going to go on Dosumu. Well, Gary Trent Jr. is accustomed to dealing with aggressive defense. That's the level of scorer he is. But in the interior there, I'll tell you, draws the contact nicely. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw drops for Trent. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Jakob Pertles check in for the Raptors. Then for the Bulls, Drummond comes in for Nikola Vucevic. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Dosumu. He's perfect from the line this time. The Bulls leading by four. Beverly dishes to Williams. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got five. There's the pass to Achua. And it's sent back by Drummond. Drummond. Back to DeRozan. Down low. And it's Drummond with the jam. You've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Check out the numbers for Van Vliet. In the second half of this season, he's been nothing short of spectacular. Putting up about 18 points per, eight assists, and almost two and a half steals. And, and it's nice to be able to bring someone with his defensive skill set off the bench. I think, in fact, to win a championship, you usually need a guy like this on your roster. And the Raptors with the ball. Only given up six here in this quarter. The later we get in the season, the hotter these teams have gotten. They're shooting leaders since the All-Star break in the NBA. The Bulls in second. No doubt their offense has really hit its stride. I mean, they're making the extra pass and not settling for that first shot that presents itself. And you see that in their shooting percentage. Shooting two. The first one falls. Trent hits them both. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They lead by four. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, and, and in that game, you see how they built out this roster, acquiring role players who can step up when needed. And that's exactly what happened. Guys came off the bench ready to play. The offense didn't miss a beat. Now we get a chance to check out some numbers for Scotty Barnes. He's been in good form here 
the last few weeks. And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates is such an asset. And back to your point, number two in steals, he's just a tireless worker. Plays that hard-nosed on-ball defense. Most guys just can't disengage from him. First free throw is good. That one is no good. Raptors trail by five. Trent outside. Back to Van Vliet. Achua the pass to Barnes. Pirtle with a screen on Williams. Lock at six. And it's Pirtle that time on the assist by Barnes. Pirtle's got eight points. I'm not sure which was better, Pirtle's screen or his finish, but either way, nice execution in the roll. Boy, guys, when you think about the prototypical modern wing, Scotty Barnes, the reigning rookie of the year, certainly fits that mold, already proving to be a well-rounded two-way player. Now, here's Beverly. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And again, no good by Chicago. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. And with Barnes, he's only scratching the surface of how good he can be. G.A., there is no question about that. Barnes is on the fast track to becoming a star. Why? Because he can score, defend, rebound, and even serve as a playmaker if need be. This is about developing those skills continuously and becoming more consistent. Now, here's a chew -up. 14 points from him the last game against Milwaukee. For three, Van Vliet. Well, what a stop by Patrick Beverly. One of the most aggressive, intense defenders in the league, regardless of size. And the three ball is good. With this lead, they're playing confidently, showing a quick trigger from beyond. Here's Trent. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got seven rebounds in the game. Kicks to Beverly. Back to DeRozan. Let's it fly from 18. And the jumper falls for him. DeRozan's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. And I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. And the Raptors call time here. And now is that time to grab a free shirt. Chicago making a switch here. Lights checked in. Right now, let's check out the standings in the Eastern Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. Taking a look at Toronto, they're holding the edge for the last playoff slot. I am sure they'd feel better if they could jump up a couple rankings. And, of course, Chicago, just a couple spots back. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, they haven't had the great season that some were expecting. 
but it hasn't been a disaster. They just need a few things to go right for them down the stretch. It's an amazing thing. If you can get a couple of wins, generate some momentum, you've got to believe they'll be just fine. I'm not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Everly with the ball. Nothing in on the scoreboard for him. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. <laughs> he's missed every single shot he's attempted today, but, but somehow they're still in the lead. The Bulls leading by eight. And they double up DeRozan. Takes the three. And Patrick Beverly, good for three. Beverly's got his first three points of the game. No hesitation in the catch-and-shoot situation. Patrick Beverly ready to shine. Here's Trent. No good again that time. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Chicago Bull. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. White finds Beverly. Outside DeRozan. Beverly sets the screen for DeRozan. The three. And it's White missing. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Achua, the pass to Trent. Rebound Andre Drummond. Chicago with the ball. Good momentum, eight straight points. Raptors trail by 11. Pass to Achua. Trent against White. And it's Chicago with the rebound. To the middle. Here's DeRozan. The kick out to Williams. Here's White. A new 14 for the Bulls. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Andre Drummond understands if I can get to the offensive window, I can put points on the board. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. Right away, they showed us they weren't going to shy away from the mid-range game, and it's proving to be an effective tool for them. Well, also, guys, what a start from beyond the arc. A huge part of their game today. That's going to help their spacing. Young's checked in for Jakob Bertel. And the free throw, no good. And, guys, you have to be able to knock down your free throws. Struggling with that this quarter. Good way to let your opponent back in the game. Van Vliet kicks to Trent. Barnes, screen on white. And here is Trent outside. Rebound by the Bulls. Levine's got his fourth rebound in this one. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, well, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. And it's White missing. Raptors trail by 13. Van Vliet passes to Achua. Shot to stop the run. Van Vliet with the bucket. Van Vliet's got seven. This guy is competitively tough and will not back away from physical defense. Go ahead, Fred Van Vliet. And here's DeRozan. He had 16 points in the win against Detroit. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This is, to me, a special ability to draw fouls, and that's one of the things that sets DeRozan apart. We see him work these angles, get the call all the time. He's gone three for four from the line. One of the areas where he has excelled all season long, how about 87% from the line? That's good from DeMar DeRozan.
Both free throws good from DeRozan. Raptors trail by 13. Fred passes to Young. Now here's Van Vliet. Takes it inside. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. Now here's DeRozan. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range, unable to get that one. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line.